Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, back on the Sop with Camel 1916 version. So, just been tinkering away there. Just boxing in my aileron with some uh, L angle that I had. Um, you can see on this piece, I just drilled it, slotted it and kinked it. On the bottom, I, I've put a, it's cut right through and I've put a little one in, a two inch tongue um, just a thin alloy in there. Um, the reason I did that is purely for, I've got three metre stock, three metre stock, but that's 1.7 metres. So it's just more efficient use of my expensive aluminium stock. So now I'm going to face this with, um, or clad it, whatever you want to call it. I've got some sheeting here and that'll all get boxed in nice and neatly around the um the hinges another consideration is just for me for peace of mind i'm going to put a flat on this and a little i'll cut a little tiny wedge piece one rivet just to stop so it's got no potential to move if one of these was to twist all four ailerons would lock up in my book so I know it's done up and it's tight, um, but just for peace of mind, I think I'll put a little stop block on there. And I sort of stopped making the other on tip because it was too flimsy. I needed to get some structure back into the wing. I've done that now. I might rivet this on and we've got to do the same to the face of the aileron. Let's get into it. All right, so I've got the, um, the top flashing on the aileron cutout if you like left the end because i'll probably sheet run a sheet over that um, just to clean that up even though the covering would probably just go over that it'll give me some added strength back here we'll see how we go um thinking about it probably don't need need to sheet that out there the holes were near enough near enough was good enough had to elongate them a little bit just to um, save me trimming the top the top sheeting went with 100 mil spacing and point of note I think I'll make the aileron in these gaps so I haven't got rivet head on rivet head if it was to max out it'll be rivet head onto onto flat now I'll put the bottom sheeting under the top same again just mirror image it drill in, drill at 100 mil into this bottom L angle um, I've left enough room to put a a little 20 by 20 L angle in the corner because I'll probably sheet this rib as well. Um, gives it a bit of strength, but also gives me something to glue the covering to. That's what I'm thinking. There's a lot of work in this sort of stuff. Not that I'm complaining, enjoying it. Got to do it four times, but look at the build video. To frame this up in four days is unbelievable. All right, lots of clicos, lots of tape, lots of marks, lots of rivets, but got the trailing edge of the aileron recess all ready to go. Pull it apart, deburr, clean off the marks, we'll rivet that. This is what takes the time, deburr. Every hole, both sides, every part. All right, this is the fun bit. So all the parts have been cleaned up and polished and deburred, whack it back on. Everything just uh, slots together nicely and um, ready to rivet. All the hard work pays off and the rivets are just the cream on the cop. All right, here's the longer A5s into the spar. Rivet and repeat. And four is 50 to 70.
I just got the Warren Brown inch pound torque wrench. I've got two or three of them actually. Different sizes, different torques. Do the job right. There we go, finished product. Basically bulletproof, I think. Stiffens it all up, boxed it all in. <coughs> Tip can't move. Now, I'll do the same to the aileron. Try and get it squared. All right. So last night I, once again at knockoff, I riveted this piece on. Then I realised I hadn't trimmed the um, hadn't trimmed the end to make them all sort of flush. So I've quickly popped the rivets off. So we'll do that again. That's knockoff itis, I guess, kicking in. I've also got to get the tails are now in these ribs, which will rattle. So I need to just hopefully if I just flex it up they'll fall out if not pull the other one off get the rivet tails out also I've got a delivery from hooker harnesses so I've got my my seat belt made up which is fantastic it's got the, um, the two hooker harness beautiful job I gave them the measurements and it's got one of those sort of buckles so you sort of measure I just measured from my belt buckle actually um, around and up over your shoulders and looks like it's it's going to work so getting exciting one thing with this you can't be scared to uh, rip out a rivet or six um, you just got to be careful you don't make a mozza of it. Sometimes it can make it worse than what you had to start with. But you get a technique. So I'll just drill this one out now and I'll be able to get the tail out from there. All right, first aileron. Got the front boxed in. Now I'm going to sheet the front. The important thing for me is I just got to keep it flat. So I get back to the railway sleepers or the, these square tubes I've got which are good because they, they're slightly higher than a Clico. So I can keep the job flat. I think I'll put, um, I'll put some weight on the trailing edge corners. Like that. Now we're flat and we'll sheet, sheet the front of this one in. All right, you sort of get good at lining up holes doing this. So that hinge, beautiful. And the hinge down this end, nice. I might still you know, I'm high five them myself, but I'll just open these up just a smidge. Another two steps. So two 16 steps, eighth inch. Um, and then we'll drill, back drill through all that on the other one front spar okay everything's on riveted taped not riveted clicoed taped time to pull it apart pull it apart vacuum up all this swarf put the kettle on and we have a bit of a rivet party just check everything so I like to mark everything because it's very easy to obviously I've got bottom over top here I'll put that'll go the other way around when the job's complete um, rub off all the texture marks, deburr everything, polish up the edges, make a little kit, bits like here. Taper that off, I've got everything marked. Like I said, I graffiti everything, clean it up at the end. Holding down the aileron, nice and flat. And hopefully, hopefully it's got some rigidity about it because at the moment, you can twist this about six inches. I may have to put some diagonal ribs in um, to strengthen that up. Definitely, prob well, definitely, possibly, maybe, needs something in this bay. Um, it's just a big area there of nothing. Another rib. Or maybe a diagonal. Anyway, that's where we're at at the moment. Alright, so in effect I've made up a kit, 
all my parts cleaned up, cleaned off, still marked. Make it easy on myself. The edge capping, ailerons blocked down, ready to go. I'll Clico it all again just to make sure it is all square and then remove Clicos and rivet. And we should have a nice straight aileron. I've got one little doof doof in the, um, must be on the other side, just in the trailing edge. I'll try and rub that out with a teaspoon or something. Second Clico. And then boom shakalaka. In the bin. Alright. Boom. One solid aileron we've got next to no flex there now which is great it's got to clean up a few areas um, we'll offer it back up make sure it's straight with my wing i'm going to make up some tabs for these so they don't spin just for peace of mind but looking good really happy with that nice and straight billowed out a few spots but we are looking good. Let's offer it up and uh, see if it actually hinges. All right, got the aileron all hooked up. Whistling Dixie turned out perfect. Cable runs nicely in the um, pulley with the aileron at neutral. You get a really nice, nice line on the wing tip. I added in a couple of cross braces here just to stiffen the tip up. A couple of a couple more gussets. Really nice and stiff. Can't bend it at all now. Happy with that. Heaps of travel. More than six inches up and down. Looking good. The last concern I've got is with these eye bolts, there's nothing actually stopping it twisting. So if two of them with a twist, I lose all four ailerons. So I think what I'll do is make up a, um, a little tab like this, which will slip over the, slip it over it, pop a rivet in, and that'll hold everything square so nothing can spin, just for peace of mind. All right guys, aileron in and installed. I pull the cable this side. Got an aileron working, plenty of travel, full and free, beautiful, cables in the run, frictionless, good stuff, let's do another aileron. Alright guys, so I'm just finishing off the second side, so left hand top aileron, we've done the right hand side. Um, Norm, you know who you are, so I've sort of taken your uh, your aircraft because there's not much guidance on this, but I've um, framed this up, and because I don't have to design it this time, if you like, um, I know what I'm doing, so I just copy the other side, so it's going together pretty quick. Um, just to sort of speed things up a bit, I've just leave the clean up to the end. I sort of get a bit pedantic at times. Um, get it all drilled and clicoed. I'm going to face this now. And then that sort of stiffens that up. And then we'll do the same on the aileron. Going well. So just in the middle of upsizing all the clicos. This is the work that goes into it. Um, I made three thirty-second silver ones and one eighth copper ones. Take every second one out an upsize 
and then pull it apart and deburr. So it ends up like a bit of a porcupine. I'll cut a triangle piece for on here and face that. Face in here. On the other side, I'll put in some of the just car body filler in there. It gives me something to sand nicely. Um, get that sorted out now. Right, pull the pieces off, deburr, clean them up, make a little click kit like I do, and we'll get them back on the aircraft. Trick is not to miss any holes. Be a quality control. Hands are going numb. World's going man. Two, 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 two. 
And the bottom. Hang in there, boys. We're nearly done. Every second one. Drop one. The broom will get that. There it is. Can't help myself. Alright guys, there you go. Might um, might wrap that one up there. I better go home and do some chores actually. So got that all on. All nicely boxed up, riveted. These ends I will um I'll just clean up a little bit with the, the flapper wheel. Um, tomorrow I will sheet that in and bog that up same as I did here just a bit of automotive bog and I got the aileron on the bench I'll do the same to the aileron and get it all working so three or four hours work there left hand aileron nearly complete hope you're enjoying the build Keep watching along, not sure, probably do the leading edges after this. I'll do the leading edges and then I've got to start thinking about um, this stuff up here. I need to um, make a panel, one so that I can assemble the aircraft and do the bolts up and two so it's like an air seal, it's, it's like a hole, it's going to be a hole in the covering. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, so I've got one, two, three four and obviously the other side so eight spots you can see like here it gets pretty busy i've got three cables and the strut and also i need to get well there'll be a couple of holes here to get to my cable or wing disconnect and this bolt here as well which sort of holds the wing on um, i'm thinking of well i don't know I'll just offer up, you notice I've got no bottom rib, this is the only one that hasn't got a bottom bottom rib because of access I guess. Um, so whether I run a bit of more, more aluminium, more rivets and we'll get something put on there. Alright guys, I'm going to clean up, get out of here, thanks for watching. Back tomorrow, we'll be at it and uh, build something else. Thanks for watching again.